been talking recently about the seven key areas that you need to develop in any business to have a business that runs when you're not there. So looking at your finance and numbers, you need to know what your price is and your price for different categories of customers. You need to know what the variable costs are of whatever it is you provide, the cost of goods sold, that's called. You need to know your gross margin, which is the difference between these two divided by the price as a percentage. You need to know what your overheads are, because if you can control your overheads, you can increase your profit margins. Uh, you need to know how long it's taking for people who owe you money to, your debtors, how long it's taking you to pay your, sorry, people you owe money to, your creditors, how long it's taking to pay them compared to how long it's taking the debtors who owe you money to pay you because you don't really want to be paying your creditors quicker than your debtors are paying you because that's where you get cash flow issues. So you need to know what your cash flow figure is. And similarly, you need to know if you do sell stock of any sort, any product, you need to know how long it's taking to shift it. So if it's taking you two or three months to shift an item of stock and you've got other items of stock that you're shifting in two or three weeks, then you might wish to sell more of the quicker moving stuff because that improves your cash flow. Um, you need to know what your net profit per item, per premises, per activity. So you can break that down in several ways. You need to know your leads per, so that would be leads per different ways of generating leads. So how good some methods of generating leads are compared to others. You need to know what your conversion rate is because a small increase in your, so if you increased your conversion rate by say 10%, that would actually increase your sales by 10% and would increase your profit by more than 10%. So that's a very important figure. And you need to know how much you're making on the money that's been invested in your business, either your own money or share capital that you've provided or other people have or loans. So that's return on capital employed. So that's just the selection of the sort of information that you would need to know to really understand where your business is going. And the thing is to make a few small improvements in some of those key areas would actually make a huge difference either to your bottom line profit or to your cash flow or to both. And you need to know the difference between profit and cash flow. So profit is where you're selling things for more than they're costing you to provide to the marketplace in total. But cash flow is saying, well, that's all very well, but is it taking people so long to pay you that although you're making a profit, you're actually running out of cash and you'll go into, or you could go into bankruptcy as a sole trader or a receivership or liquidation as a company. So really interesting area. Hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching today. If you wanted to know how getting help and advice from other experienced business owners as part of your own uh, alternative board, I suppose, to an, a board of directors that you may not have, then look at businessroundtableuk.co.uk. And if there's anything of interest there, you know, maybe we can have a chat. Uh, if you like this and you want to discuss any other points, just message me or, or comment. Thanks very much for watching today. How much are you paying for your marketing and sales software? As examples, you could be paying separately for all of these items. So CRM and pipeline management, $99 a month. Sales funnels, unlimited, $297 per month. Uh, website builder, $29 a month. Surveys and forms, $49. Email marketing, $99 a month. Two-way SMS marketing, $99. Booking appointments, $29 a month. Workflow automation, $169 a month. Uh, selling courses and products online, $159 a month. Tracking calls, call tracking, $95. Reputation management, $299. Tracking and analytics, $49. All of those can add up to a lot of money. What if you could get all of that in one integrated package where everything talks to each other? So, uh, you know, there's no compatibility issues and you could get all of that for $97 a month. In fact, you could actually get it for just over $80 a month uh, if you do it the right way. Now, if you want to find out how you could have all of these uh, software packages, if you like, under one heading, integrated, all talking to each other, so that you don't have to have more than one thing to worry about and to learn to use, then please contact me. Either leave a message in response to this post or just email me, bernard at baltimorebc.co.uk. I look forward to hearing from you.